She wanna know me, I stay low key, all gas, no breaks, baby, let them hoes sleep. Body on to make your girl oh, OD. Guys. <clears throat> Happy October 21st for Vlogtober. It's just flying by. Like, it truly is. So, home from the gym, I totally was trying to film this morning and like my drive in because actually early in the morning it's a beautiful drive and um i had no sd card in my um camera so guess what doesn't work without an sd card your camera okay i'm fixing to put the primary bedroom back together you can see here's what it looks like when we get up we pull the beds back let them air out for the from the night um, sheet washing is tomorrow because the dogs go to the groomers. Um, and so I'm going to do all the sheets. Normally I would have done the sheets today, but I'm going to do it tomorrow since they all go to the groomers. Okay, let's get this room reset. Okay, guys, I'm working on our sock drawers. We have two. We have one with like high socks and the one with the ankle socks. So this one is just our ankle socks. These are more for like loafers. These are more of our gym socks. No, we do not wear socks that go all the way up our legs. We're that group of age. Then this used to be our dress socks, but we do not have jobs that have dress socks that we have to wear every single day like we used to. So these are the ones that we're keeping for sure. These were just gifted. So they're there for right now. And then these are all of the Happy Socks brand. These are the ones that we're already donating. So I'm fixing to go through these. I know some of these elastic has gone out. So I'm going to go through these and see which one of these we want to keep and get rid of. Yes, I'm doing all this and it's only 7.30 in the morning. So let's get this organized and put back into the drawer just because I didn't think we needed to waste that big drawer anymore we could use it for something else luckily we share socks so we don't have to have tons of socks but let's go through this and see what we're keeping okay guys so a project just happened that I didn't even mean to happen and I got it taken care of in two hours well about an hour and a half I still need to run to the container store to get one container or actually two for a couple things. I was on the hunt for something in our pantry. I wish you could have seen it before. Now, I do not have a Pinterest pantry at all, promise. I would love to have one. It doesn't work in our household. But our pots and pans used to be down here. Now it's all of our glass um, storage containers that we use. We do have a little plastic over here and these are to-go bins. We don't really do a lot of bread, but when we do, I made it there, extra seasoning, <clears throat> just sprays and all that jazz and overflow of spices these are kind of like our little snack bins right here which I think I'm fixing to switch maybe not I don't know yet um, canned goods we don't really have a whole lot of canned goods mostly we buy what we're fixing to cook these are our containers that have snacks in them that we've opened this is our overflow shelf up here is just big time overflow. Those are lock and lock. We use those for soups. This all goes to the Ninja, our KitchenAid mixer. And then this is just extra baking stuff. And then all of this is when I make dog food or when we're fixing travel. That's all the stuff for the dog food, which I think I'm going to take that down and put that in a storage closet under the stairs because we only use that when we travel. And then over here is just box goods like pastas and um, cake flour and different things like that. Then here is all of our flour, sugars, baking things. Now expir date, expiration dates are on the bottom. Now I do not put expiration dates on stuff that we honestly use all the time. There's no point because we go through it. I know what we use and don't use all the time. This is our shelf with the grains right here. And then this is just a little overflow of baking stuff in this corner. And then down here is all of our vitamins and electric lights that we use in our waters. 
these vitamin C packs, especially at this time of year, or if you're traveling, guys, get yourself some. We get them on Amazon. They taste horrible, horrible, but they're loaded in vitamin C, and if you feel like you're getting sick, this helps knock it out quick. So we keep those on stock. Down here is all of our protein that we use. And then lunchbox, extra gallons of water, or not, they're not full, they're empty. We use them when we travel. Dog food is kept in there, not poured out because it is not good to put dog food against plastic. Recycle bin. And then this part of the floor is open. But yeah, this was a mess. I has, should have jumped on here and showed y'all before, but literally I was on the hunt for one thing. And it became a massive project. Not massive, just a project that I was not prepared to do today. But it's clean, it's done. My project was really to organize under the stairs. Stuff has just kind of built up in there. And so I've got to run to the grocery store before it gets crazy. And then um, so honey, no. there's that. Okay guys, back home to finish the pantry. I ran to the container store. I needed a couple more uh, little containers. And now that I'm looking at them, I'm scared I got the wrong size. Like, I got two small ones, but we'll see how this works. If, oh no, maybe not. Nope, they are. Darn it, I knew that was gonna happen. But, yeah, I think those are just gonna be too small. Shoot. I needed medium and I got small. Oh well, I can take them back tomorrow. Those can go back tomorrow. But I did get the bigger ones I needed. And then, oops, let's flip this around so y'all can see. So I got the bigger ones I needed. And then I went to Home Goods. My mom went with me, so I did not film or I would have filmed. This is stuff that I'm organizing to go back in the pantry. With the holiday seasons coming up, I got some to go containers these are like i'm not sure you could put liquids in them or soup and then food containers these are great for um when you have company and you're sending them home with food it's perfect then you don't have to worry about them ever bringing back your good glassware trust me because it doesn't come back never Okay, let me mess with this pantry for a minute and figure this out, and I'll come back to you. Okay, guys, so I'm filming the second video today. There's the camera and tripod set up and my dirty kitchen. I'm filming a uh, Cooking with Paul video. It will be up, I was going to say early, but it's going to be edited and ready, and i got to do one clip of Evan trying it, and so then that will go up. But it's goulash tonight. And it turned out really good. Quite a bit of a mess, but it's okay. I kind of cleaned as I went. I just need to I have a drying rack over there right now and just put that stuff up. The dishwasher's open and loaded. There's a lot of kitchen stuff that we don't wash in the dishwasher. So it's the hand washing, of course. I had to use almost all of them tonight. And I finished the pantry. Now, it is not a Pinterest pantry like I would want. But I feel like it turned out pretty good. Down here, this is an old basket that we had. And so it just has like our little snacks in it. Kind of extra water bottles. Recycle bin, dog or dog food, recycle bin. Down here is all of our glass Tupperware. This bin I'm super excited about. This is our like leftover bin. Uh, my mom lives down the street and after losing my dad, my mom comes down a couple times a week for dinner. So these are perfect for her to take little sides home, entrees, and then if something's bigger, that, and then we just tint it. Extra seasonings, snacks. Uh, the containers for this one, I bought the wrong size. So I gotta go back to the container store. These are snacks that we put into glass jars. These bins are overflow. Then over here, it's just extra pastas. Up here, I really didn't do much. Everything fits, so I just kind of left it. I really want to have somebody come in and add another shelf up there. But I have a dream of this pantry. <coughs> and so we'll see if that happens. I'm not going to have anybody add a shelf up there. I'm going. I want this pantry redone. 
and we should have done it when we remodeled the kitchen, but we didn't, and now I want it done. But we'll see when that happens. I want and getting it done is two different things. All of our flowers and sugars, like I said, expiration dates are on the bottom. But with that being said, um, stuff that we don't that we use all the time, I don't put expiration dates because I know that we're gonna go through it. Down here is the grains and some baking stuff. Down here are all of our supplements. Vitamins, I mean vitamins, um, protein powders, and pre-workouts. Okay, I gotta get back to that camera, wherever it is, to film what's going on in there. I'll be back to y'all in just a minute. Okay guys, got dinner done. Kitchen is clean. Yes, the camera is still set up just so that Evan can do his tasting. Y'all have to... I don't know if that video is going to go up before this one or after. <coughs> I think it's going to go up after. I think that one's going to go up tomorrow. I'm going to try to get this one up tonight. So I'm going to sit down and edit most of this video up until now, which is almost 5 o'clock. I know we've got... I really need to go back to the container store. And we're going to go back to the gym and do another workout. But I'm hoping I can talk Evan into the container store first. I probably can't. <laughs> he hates that store. I love that store. But I was very proud of myself. I went in and bought exactly what I wanted. Walked around with my mom. We looked around. I did not buy anything else that was not on my list. I came out this close, guys, to getting more stuff. But I was being good. Got to be good, right? Um, the holidays are coming. So I just want a bunch of stuff, like, for cooking. And I really want to go to William sonoma There's some new stuff I want for the kitchen. Because I've really started enjoying this cooking stuff. Um... Part of that whole cooking series is just that if I can do it, you can do it because I don't cook. I'm telling you, I said in the video of me cooking that we've been together almost 15 years and I've probably cooked dinner by myself about maybe this many times. And three of them were in this past two weeks. So Evan's enjoying that I'm cooking. Um... He's a much better cook than I am, but you know what? We gotta learn somewhere. Now, I can make a mean breakfast. I don't consider that cooking dinner. I can cook a really good Belgian waffle, fresh berries, homemade whipped cream, scrambled eggs, bacon, hash browns, toast, you name it, biscuits and gravy, I got gotcha. you. Dinner, I'll, I'll get there. I'll get there. Okay, I'm gonna start editing this video and wait for Evan to get home. Um, I gotta feed the puppies. Their food's actually thawing right now. And I think that's it. Okay, guys. I'll see y'all here later on tonight. Okay, guys. Ending tonight's vlog at 8.27. Um, dinner went good. That video will be up tomorrow morning. This video will be up tomorrow afternoon. I hope y'all have a fantastic evening. I'm exhausted tired um we have a workout tomorrow morning bright and early um so y'all get to go with us to the gym <clears throat> pretty much got everything done pantry looks great like i'm so glad that's done i um cleaned the patio really good tonight that was another thing i did um just gave it a good uh, spray down and clean off because there's construction across from our neighborhood that's causing horrible dust. So, <clears throat> got all that done. And now I am uh, getting ready for bed. I just fell onto my laptop. <sighs> Let's not break it because the new ones aren't out yet. Okay, let me edit this video or add this on. And then I will see y'all tomorrow for October 22nd. It's flying by, guys. We'll be in November before you know it. I'll see y'all in the morning.